Hello and good evening to you. Welcome back to All for His Glory. Um, today I'm here to just um, encourage someone with um, Psalm 121, which happens to be one of my um, favorite um, psalms. So I'm going to read it, Psalm 121, the verse 1. I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. So, you know, the verse 1 tells us to look up to God. We're always to look up to God. There's people that God puts in our way who are available to us to give us good counsel. But your ultimate source through everything should be God Most High. Sometimes the mistake that we make is, you know, we try everything else. And when that fails, then we remember that, oh, yes, we need to call on God. But we as believers need to be steadfast and faithful. So we need to know who our source is. And the verse 3, it says, He will not allow your foot to be moved. That denotes that God is stable. There is stability. He will not allow you to be easily shaken. If you know whom you have believed and know whom you have trusted, despite the storms that come around you, you know that you are standing on solid ground because His Word, His Word is what will comfort you during those trying times. You know, things change from second to second. Look at the world in which we live in right now. Everything is changing so rapidly. Humans have become fickle. It's difficult to trust a man's word or promise these days. But God is not a God who sleeps. He's always there. He's always there. He's the miracle worker. You have to remember to rely on him. Now, we have to remember that as believers, God did not promise us that life would be a bed of roses. No. Not by a long shot, but what it is is that when you know, when you know what you have, that is what you stand on when the going gets tough. In verse 5, it tells us that the Lord is our keeper. A keeper is a guardian or a custodian, a curator, an overseer, and a caretaker, also a steward. So who would you have as your keeper when you have the most high? Is there anything else that you, anybody else that you look up to more than the most high to be your keeper? It cannot be your husband. It cannot be your children because they are humans like you. They are just as fickle as you are. But with God, you have a surety. He is your shade of protection, shielding you from all harm. Now, when we look at the verse 7 to 8, it says, you know, the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That means total trust and dependence on God. He will keep you from all evil. Like I said before, can your sister, your wife, or your husband preserve your soul? No. Only God can. He will preserve you wherever you go. He knows our going out and our coming in. As you step into the coming week, call on him, sorry, call on him at all times. Look up to the hills. Don't look down. Look up to him. He is your source and your strength. There's all kinds of things going on. People are facing so many challenges. We all have challenges that we are going through. But through it all, we have the most high God. Thank you. Have a blessed week and don't forget who your source is, the Most High God. Take care. Bye-bye.